Traditional owners have lived by these waters for tens of thousands of years. Their connection to the Kimberley coastline, deep and enduring. Kevin George is a Bardi Jawi man. We've got a duty of care to the environment. We've got um, duty of care to, um, yeah, to our people. We've got, we welcome people to come to our country. And Today, the government declared three new marine parks along the Buccaneer Archipelago and Dampier Peninsula providing extra protection for culturally important sites. We're announcing three new marine parks uh, across the Kimberley. Uh, it adds more than 600,000 hectares of uh, ocean into the uh, conservation estate. The parks will be co-managed by traditional owners and the state government. We have an amazing state with amazing country and with amazing conservation values. And who better to help manage that land than traditional owners. Environmental groups have welcomed the new protections. Well, this is uh, an outstanding win for conservation in the Kimberley and conservation in Australia. Home to prime fishing spots, the announcement follows months of tense discussions over who has the right to fish where on the Kimberley coast. Fishers say while a win for traditional owners, they've been left out of the process. The government essentially railroaded the process. Uh, fishers weren't excluded, were excluded from, from putting in comment and not really engaged. The community has had uh, many opportunities to get involved in this process. Uh, what we're seeing now is a balanced outcome. The new marine park boundaries will come into effect in 12 months, creating new job opportunities for local First Nations people under the Aboriginal Ranger Program. Hannah Barry, ABC News, Broome.